Hey guys, Troy at Mountain Man Treasure. It's time to take a look at what sold this weekend in my eBay store. So this channel, all about reselling. We go into garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, sometimes Walmart, Target, Home Depot, doesn't matter, buy stuff there and then sell it online for a profit at least that's the plan doesn't always work out that way pretty busy weekend volume wise for me here i've actually got a bunch of these that i still need to pack out it's a really good thing that i got started on friday and got some stuff out early because this was a long weekend if you're a subscriber to the channel you know uh i just went uh last night into this morning as i'm recording this uh spent uh basically all night in the old Montana State Prison. Um, we, I, was, I was ghost hunting. That's what I was doing. Nothing to do with reselling, though I did take a trip. Um, we went to two thrift stores along the way and bought a couple of cool items. So we've got a video for that coming up uh, a little bit down the road. But uh, I, I did spend some time there. We're going to put together a Halloween episode. Zero to do with reselling, but that's okay because it's a good thing to uh, take some mental time away. You can't always watch reseller videos. You got to take some time off now and again, it just uh, recharge a little bit. And so I'm really, really tired because literally we were there all night. I left uh, at 5 a.m. and we recorded some really cool stuff, guys. I don't know all of what we got, but uh, I had a couple, we'll call them experiences. I don't know. I had a couple experiences there and I know we've got some stuff on video um, that is pretty wild. Um, stay tuned for that. I'm, it, it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to have to spend some time doing it, but uh, I think it'll be cool. It's going to be a fun Halloween night premiere. And right now it's time to dig into what sold. And the first thing that sold, of course, was to our store's favorite customer, Keith. Keith from Minnesota is, uh, he's digging these Hot Wheels and uh, he jumped in. This is the first one he got. Now he got this back earlier before the weekend. He got the 1997 Neat Streeter. This $1.99 plus shipping. And then Keith came and bought the Lincoln Continental. This was $7.49 free shipping. Now we're going to jump ahead later in the weekend because he bought these Thunderbirds. These uh, $3.49 plus shipping. And then he also bought the 69 Chevy truck. That one for $2.99. So Keith, thanks so much, man. Uh, I, I sure appreciate it. I hope we're adding some quality product to your Hot Wheels collection. I've still got hundreds of these things to go. So they're going to slowly work their way into the store. Uh, you guys better swing in quick before Keith gets them all. These great stocking stuffers and uh, honestly pretty cheap for vintage Hot Wheels. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, jumping into the other stuff that we sold, these uh, vintage cast iron weight bar collars. I picked up uh, some weight stuff at a garage sale a couple weekends ago for $3. We are totally into the profit. Now we're parting it out. So we're selling the bars, the collars, the weight plates themselves. And uh, surprisingly, the collars both moved first. I had two sets of two. One sold uh, here in this last video, and now this one sold. So maybe a uh, little bit of a small dollar bolo for you guys. These weight collars seem to move pretty quick. Uh, $16.99 free shipping. They come in just over a pound, so I put them in a padded flat rate. Really, really easy to send out, and you make a couple bucks. So easy, easy money. This Coral Gables Country Club hat. You might remember me picking this up at an estate sale for, I think it was a quarter. It's 25 cents or 50 cents. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that was under a dollar. And uh, it sold for $24.49 plus shipping. There were none like this out there. So I just picked a price that I thought looked solid and uh, worked out. So a good turn on that hat. This Broncos license plate frame. I've had this for, I think, a year now. I'm pr I remember where I got it and I think it was last summer. Uh, I paid a dollar for this and it was $10.19 plus shipping that we sold it for. So not bad. Took a while. You know, it's we, we've got a lot of small dollar items, but that volume, I think, helps. It triggers algorithm type stuff. I, I think it works because as you're going to see, we have a couple of good sales this weekend. And on Friday, really kicking off the whole weekend, the Reselling Resource Center um, there was a, an event in there. This is a Facebook group, probably the most 
helpful Facebook group out there, uh, I think, for uh, resellers. If you're not a member, you ought to be. I think it's up to like 24,000 now. And uh, somehow, Dominic, primetime treasure hunter on YouTube, look him up. He's really, really good. He's helped me a ton. He actually helped push us over the 1,000 uh, subscriber mark uh, here, frankly, not that long ago this summer. That's kind of incredible that it hasn't even been that long. Um, he had an event where uh, Bill Payone, Red 5 Trading Company is his eBay store. Uh, he tagged me and said, hey, you're it. So for the next hour, people were invited into my store to buy stuff. And uh, we had a lot of folks come in. And Dominic started this thing off. He picked up this Thor Funko Pop. I got this in a bulk of deal. Uh, from my Funko Pop guy, we bought $520 we paid for um, a whole bunch of Funko Pops. And we've got a couple stragglers, and one of them is headed to primetime headquarters. Uh, Dominic bought this for $11.87 plus shipping this Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, I got this in a bundle deal, so I'm, I don't know, 50 cents, something like that, into this one. This for the PS2. And this one went out to Tanya for $9.77. This vintage Looney Tunes t-shirt. I don't know why this stuck around. I loved this shirt. I thought it was so cool. And uh, it stuck around because it was waiting for the right buyer. I paid a dollar for it. And it went for $15.93. Free shipping to Charlie. Thanks so much uh, for that purchase. I'm, I was thrilled to put that in, uh, in an RRC member's hands. I think that was such a cool shirt. This uh, this vote pin, this vintage pin back, another really cool item. I actually got this as part of my uh, Hot Wheels deal. Um, some of those cars that Keith was buying there at the front end, uh, we paid $100 for 400 Hot Wheels. And to sweeten the deal, Aaron said, why don't you take that and that and, oh yeah, take that too. And uh, these were one of the that's, is some of these pins. And uh, so I listed this one up and $5.99 free shipping, but of course it doesn't weigh that much. So we'll make a couple bucks at the end. Uh, $5.99, that went out to uh, Nadia, actually. Uh, Nadia, thank you so much. Uh, she bought that. I pinned this Coors ashtray going to Franklin Hill Ventures. I worked this into a bundle deal where I picked up some, uh, some Snap-on and some other vintage um, sockets essentially and basically everything we paid for the so was for the sockets and then everything else was a throw in these guys back there where are they they're yeah there they are um they were part of that deal too so 997 free shipping a kylo ren toothbrush this not a fantastic retail arbitrage pickup last year i thought these would go for christmas felt like maybe a stocking stuffer i don't know they're cool i know they're toothbrushes but uh, a dollar into these, and Michelle sent me an offer of seven. That uh, after fees and shipping, it basically breaks us even, and I'm good because uh, I've got so many of these that I still need to get rid of. This Starbucks mug, uh, two dollars to Farmer Mark at his garage sale, and uh, it sold for eight ninety nine plus shipping. DC sells. She made that subscribe sign. If you're interested in one of those, if you've got a channel, uh, she makes those to order. They're really really cool. I'm excited to have it here in. Uh, in our garage now. Uh, so D made that and uh, she bought that Starbucks mug. So D, thank you so much for that. Now we're going to keep going down the list. We're out of our RRC list and now the booty shorts. You guys know I like selling these American Eagle. This is actually at the bottom of the tote. So I probably bought these at the beginning of last summer for uh, at a garage sale, probably for a dollar and they sold for eleven sixty five free shipping. This uh, Miami Hurricanes hat I think I bought this at Walmart. Or at Walmart, man, I am tired, guys. I bought this at Goodwill um, for a dollar ninety nine, and it went out for sixteen ninety nine plus shipping. Now, I mentioned on the last video, you guys are gonna get tired of hear me talk about the bobble water filters. You're not, because some guy came in Friday night, bought everything I had left. Look at the list here, guys. He bought, now I'm into these about 32 cents a piece, 31 cents. It's like 31.9 cents, I think. Uh, I bought a whole box of them for 15 bucks. So this guy bought the single green. He bought a four pack of black and uh, actually had two of those four packs. He bought them both. The three pack of black, he bought that one too. And then uh, the most I had was red and he bought three four packs. So all of these water filters that I had left, I remember I'm 32 cents each 
end of these and he paid $150. Now they are gonna weigh a little bit more. They're gonna have to go priority, but I'm gonna be what, 10 or 12 bucks into it maybe for shipping by the time I pack all these things up. And remember, 100% profit at this point. So these baubles, um, because he came in and bought them all. And then we had a couple other people that I, I had an order go out to Brazil, which means they paid the international shipping and it was a couple orders combined. So we saved a little bit of money there. I did the initial math and figured we were going to make about 200 bucks because of some of these combined orders and the international orders. Uh, we're going to end up making closer to 250 bucks profit after fees on that bobble deal. So that are pretty sweet little find this build a bear crossbow for uh this is uh for chewbacca of course which he's back there i, I got him out of the box now it's the next step he's one of the uh the chia planter things so um i gotta plant chewbacca still but his crossbow sold for twelve dollars and 49 cents plus shipping now i picked this up uh, in billings at the beginning of the summer in a uh, whole i bought a whole bunch of build a bear stuff uh so i have to figure out the math i'm probably 50 or 75 cents into this one single piece these christmas ornaments i don't know what i'm in but every once in a while you find garage sales where you can just get a box of them and they're just trying to get rid of them i think that's what these came out of last year so i paid like two or three dollars for a whole box of these vintage ornaments and i separated them out and i've had a couple lots and uh they slowly sell and christmas stuff is starting to sell right now guys so uh, i'm hardly anything into these and they sold for 9.97 plus shipping. The Pentax camera. I picked this thing up for $5 this past weekend, and it sold for $68 plus shipping. I put that at auction. We had a couple of people fighting over it. So really good turnaround all in there, like 80 some dollars with, uh, with shipping figured in. So uh, some of these Pentax cameras, the 35 millimeter SLR cameras, if you find them, uh, there is a following. They make good cameras and they still sell for really good money. Um, this wall hanging, this mid-century wall hanging, I shouldn't have picked this up. It hung around for like a year and a half. It was like 50 cents at a sale. I just thought it was cool. Uh, eventually somebody sent me an offer on it. Didn't even matter what the offer was. I was going to take it. Uh, and it was thankfully a nice offer, $14 plus shipping. So this is going out. This, uh, mask, it's an Easter unlimited. They're the ones that make the screen masks. Uh, this I bought for a quarter last year. It sold for $15 plus shipping. And then this just sold, this escaped convict costume. Uh, this I got from my buddy Jeff. And uh, it's going to go, I hope, that's how I listed it. We'll see into a padded flat rate. It sold for $12.74 plus that padded flat rate shipping. So uh, that's what we've been selling this weekend out of my eBay store. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad we got a jump start on Friday uh, because... I am really tired and I don't have to pack up all of that stuff right now. I've still got a fair number of things I got to pack up. So I'm going to get going on that. And uh, tonight I'm going to take a nap to make sure that I'm going to be able to make it. Joey Bada Bing 22, he's coming back on. We're keeping it real with Joey Bada Bing 22. It's going to be fun. We're going to do a live listing. We're going to do a chat. We're going to do a hangout. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys some uh, some previews of the Halloween stuff. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be fun. At least we might be able to talk about it. Anyway, uh, that's all coming up tonight. It's going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on my channel. And then after we're done here, after an hour, we're going to jump over to Joey's channel and finish up over there. That Chicago Bulls hat that I listed last week, live at, during that show at auction, it's been getting bids. It's going to sell during the show. So if you're curious about what that sells for, it's going to sell live, so that's going to be fun. Joey, I think, listed something as well. So we'll see what the auctions finish up at. I appreciate you stopping in, guys. Thanks so much. I got to pack, and I got to go to bed. We'll see you next time.